I had a dream once, when I was young. I walked through time to see Seleucia in ruins. Its great pillars were fallen, its markets overgrown, its people gone. But as I wept in its streets, I saw an eagle perched on the ruins, and the great sun blazed bright behind it. And as the eagle took to the sky, its great size became clear, and the lightning bolts hummed along its wings. And as it passed overhead, one of those bolts flew towards me with the strength of the sun, and suddenly I awoke. It was Zeus and my grandfather Apollo that visited me that night to show me what might happen if my rule is decadent and weak. But Zeus and Apollo, I have not betrayed you. I have not let you down. Our empire is now stable. Its people in apparent content, whether they are Greek or Eastern. Our taxes are low. Building projects are wrought across the empire and our military garrisons have been retired so that our people can live in peace and happiness. All thanks to you, great Zeus and grandsire, for your omens all those years ago. But what good is our internal stability when outside our borders the dogs come hounding for us? I must say, I was surprised when given the choice of our protection or war, those Cappadocian fools chose war. But they remain a sideline to the Ptolemies. Their attack was earlier than I expected. For they could send us both down a spiral that destroys us. I pray to the gods that they choose us, the heirs of Apollo, as the victors in this titanic battle. But the gods can only do so much. It is up to us to enact their wishes. So call on our people across the borders, all the nobles of Greek lines and the able-bodied men. It is time to push the Ptolemies back. And once they're repelled, my army will march south, experienced from our northern conquests, and beat them out of Anatolia and liberate their people. And once this has been done, that dreadful dream I had long ago shall not come to pass. And when I die, I shall die happy knowing that I will take my place alongside my father and grandfather in the halls of the gods. Now, call up the men. It is time to march to war. Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are bringing you another episode of our Seleucia campaign, the Seleucid Empire, in RTR Imperium Direction version 0.5. Again, I hope you enjoyed that intro, guys. I've just noticed that we have Bertha ready to upgrade, which is just a standard town, so I've got to remember that for next turn. Um, but yeah, last time we got attacked by both the Ptolemies, uh, and I gave an ultimatum to Cappadocia, a little bit of a mistake, most likely. Uh, because they didn't want to be, be a protectorate anymore. But I'd likely say if they want to get rid of being a protectorate, it's very likely that they were going to attack us anyway. Um, so I'm not too bothered about the fact that we are at war with them now. Uh, now the problem is Armenia is nearby as well, and so are Atropatine. Um, are Atropatine our allies still? They are. I kind of want Armenia to remain our allies as well. Um, I'm also going to go speak to Pontus. So let's move up there. Try Basically, the alliances are not there for long term, guys. They are just there um, so that we can avoid them attacking us for as long as possible. Um, Galatia's over here as well, which I want to get rid of. Uh, but Cappadocia is the main problem right now, along with the Ptolemies. Down in the south... We are assembling our army, and once it's ready to go, we will go south. It's, a, it's not the strongest of armies, as you can see, guys. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't even have a general quite yet. Uh, were we sending a general down? Probably Antiochus would be the best one. Let's send him. So one thing to note, guys, uh, with, uh, with the mod. So, if you have a general, for example, Antiochus here... And you put them outside of the city for a turn. They will have increased movement range. This is something the mod team have uh, 
let me know. So thank you to Mosca Flacker for that. Um, the increased movement range, if you leave them outside the city, they will have increased movement range for that turn and be able to move very far. Whereas if you leave them inside a the city, they will have the vanilla movement range, so a little less. See, like if we press on this now, you can see how far we can move compared to, say, this unit. Look how far the difference is. It's huge. Uh, so we want to have our armies outside of cities when we're moving them around. Uh, that's definitely something that we want to do. Um, and then we're going to get this army. We are going to take Chios. We might as well. What's the point of leaving it? Um, and then we'll return to Sardis for a little bit of retraining. And while we're here at Sardis, we are going to put together an army of generals. Uh... To take down a key loss. Oh, I don't know. So if we could, how many generals do we have? I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven generals versus an eight-person army. I think. I mean, I think we win that. Plus these guys as well. Uh, I think we win that. Also, guys, I have adjusted the volume, so you should hear the volume in the background a little bit better. So let me know if it works for you. If it's a little bit too loud, let me know. If it's too quiet, let me know. Um, and uh, I just want it to be just right for now. Right then, guys. So without further ado, that's been a lot of talking now. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but we like to go through our plans beforehand, don't we? So let's uh, attack Kios. Get into this battle. It's going to be reasonably tough, honestly. What uh, what do we have? Yeah, ladders and a siege tower. Now, they're going to have people on the walls. But that, uh, that might actually be a good thing for us. Because if we can hold them on the walls, we can just go and take the town square. And that'll be fantastic. We've got some Zistaphoroi. We have Antiochus. Antiochus. Plus our own Zistaphora and elephants. I mean, I don't really want to use the elephants in a siege battle, as we've talked about, guys. They don't path through the city very well. But anyway, I will see you on the battle map, guys. And at the Here last, we are. There is something appealing. Something, something appalling. Something yes. Something for everyone in what I must now say. We will win. Many of us may die. Well, thanks for that. But all of us will be brave. <laughs> Many of us will die. Oh, what inspiring words, my friend. Um, well, we kind of lost all our uh, all our throwaway troops. Um, I mean, how about right? We need to organise these guys as well. I don't know why they're so disorganised. Want you guys on there because you're a small unit. Uh, kind of thinking only two units going up right now. Of course, we're going to use you guys again. I will use the Zistaphoroi this time. This is going to be a bit of a tough siege, I would say. So they've got two units on the walls. Akontistai. Oh, it's just the archers and the Akontistai. So we will have to fight the Hoplites outside the walls. I'm going to try and use cavalry... As effective as I can in this battle, guys, compared to some of the other siege battles. Like flanking the uh, Hoplites and charging them in the back. Ah, come on, Hoplites. God, this is going to be tight, I think. Tighter than you think, because it's a siege battle. It's going to be quite tough. So the best way to get in the city is just straight down the middle. We have got lots of little flanking routes. I do love these new design cities. They flow a lot better. There's a lot more opportunities to flank, etc. We're getting attacked by the Akontistai. That's great. It's not what we want to see, is it? Are you guys up yet? You guys come and uh, attack the archers. And we'll also get these uh, turned around so they'll start firing on their own troops, which is fantastic. Yeah, start firing on them. Kill as many as you can. I wish we had some archers right now. Guys! Why are you going so slow? Don't embarrass me like that, my friends. Um, so, 
I'm thinking the next unit we want to get up. Most likely these boys. Let's get them up. We'll also... You guys drop the ladders. Hmm. I like the, Thr the Thracians are just so good. Great to have up on the walls. Ah, get the archers in the back. I'll oh, kill them. Well, that's good. They're getting shot a lot, which is fantastic. Might be an Agura Speed as a day to day, but I kind of want to keep these guys nicely, uh, nicely healthy. Get you Thracians on fire at will. You boys can get you down. Probably the other way around. Antiochus and the Zistaphoroi, we're going to get you in as well. Ah, yes. Agira Speeder. So we'll get the Chalka Speeders in, please. As quick as we can. I don't like the Zistaphoroi coming forward. There's only 41 of them. Yeah, they do start with 61, so they must have taken some damage from somewhere or something. The Theroporoi. I'm getting you there. You can come forward again. Uh, you two together. Kill that Zistaphora would be excellent. As well as the general, of course. Philotyros of Chaos. Ki Chaos. Well, I guess kill the Zistaphora then. There's only one thing you can do. I'll be getting shot by the walls as well. Oh, look at that. That's what we like to see. Shred shredderations for the boys. Get into the general then. Go straight through. Charge him. Also rally while we're there so that he doesn't charge. Yeah, so he stays away from the fighting. And once that happens, we should... What I'm thinking, best thing we can do... Is likely get here. We'd be very close to being able to fire at the enemy there. And I would like Thracians up this way with the Hoplites. Uh, and the Chalka Speeders this way as well. Come on, let's kill him. Let's kill him. Let's go. The other thing I'm going to build, guys, I'm going to build... A better cavalry, uh... Get them. They're already shaken. Hoping we can fire from there. It's going to be... I don't know whether we can, you know. It'll be close. If not, we'll have to come around this way and fire into them as much as we can. Looks like we've done a good job there, so let's get down this way. Let's get there. Let's go. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to fire it. It'll be really close, though. Oh, Plate, just go away. I don't want to get all the way down that way. You guys get in there, actually. Getting them off the town square is, is great, though. Ah, hello. How? What? How did that happen? How are they, like, in between us? Oh, they must have been in this little space. Now they're, they're squished. Halt. Now just get your phalanx down, boys. Well, that's weird. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. They should all pretty much die. Get that way. Yeah, they're not happy, are they? Poor guys. Poor guys. That's what you get. That's what you get for getting squished, my boys. <laughs> You there. You guys slightly behind, probably. Then the Greek Hoplites. You can go even further behind. A single one guy left. Hoping we can fire from there. That would be excellent. All of these guys could fire simultaneously. That would be fantastic. Oh, wait. Are they firing already? Oh, no. They fired at that guy. Uh, these guys might be a little bit closer. 
Let's uh, march you for. I want to get them off the town square. I don't want to have to grind fest these guys to death like usual. But they, uh, there's not many. There's not many ways of trying to get them off. We could try and bait them. Guys, get there. If we uh, fire jabbies into them, do you reckon they charge us? Because then we could back out, charge them in the back with the cavalry, try and break them. Should be able to fire now, boys. So get your fire on. Into the back of them as well. Which does a lot more damage. Go, 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 go. Just get out. Bait, bait, bait. We're bait. Go! I said go! God damn. I hate it when they don't listen to you. Oh! I don't care, you're in the fight. Go! If we just need to bait one, that's fine. Guys, stop stopping! I hate it that when they give you a new when you give them a new order and they stop. It's so annoying. Well, there's one unit we're going to have to uh, grind fest to death then. That's fine. Getting the jabbies off. Okay, they, they've decided that that's not a good idea to do what they're doing. Oh, no. Now they decide to charge. Very indecisive. <laughs> okay, the jabbies are really not doing much damage, as you can see. But the cavalry should. So that's the one good thing. Here they come. The big boys. The Thracians should do well against the Hoplites because of their armor-piercing stat. Come on, boys. Charge. That should hopefully... Oh, broke them instantly. Now we kill them all. Yeah. Now everyone kill them all. Just kill them all before they get back to the town square. That's what we want to do. Yep. Yeah. It's just unfortunate these guys are on the town square. So they're going to have to be killed. Uh, I think we can jabby them though, can't we? And then we can charge in the cavalry. The cavalry just deal with these hoplites for now. Yeah, they're, they're, they're all dead. They're all dead. Uh, cavalry won't fit, but you can go there. Speed it up. Now you should be able to fire, boys. I'm hoping. Can you not fire? Or do you not want to fire? Come on. I don't get it. Fire! Okay, that's better. Please don't charge. No. Halt. Fire. Yeah, there we are. And we're going to have to stop you from charging after this one. We'll stop everyone, but that's really helping us. Halt. You guys fire. Come on. Should be the last Javis now, boys. Oh, that has really, really helped. Our Chalka Speeders have taken a bit of damage, but it's okay. I don't think the friendly fire is too bad from those jabbies. Yeah, we'll charge them now. There's only a few of them left. Come on, boys. That's really helped kill them quicker, hasn't it? Good. Oh, well, that's gone better than I expected, honestly. We only lost 95 that time. That's really good. Those great copper takes 162, bro. Fantastic. Bodyguard doing well. Is this the four eye again? Anyone healed? Mainly these hoplites that healed. Uh, the Thracians didn't, but I love the Thracians, though. They're so good. But anyway, guys, I'll see you back on the campaign map again. Here we are, guys. Um, and I think we enslave. Yeah. It's already quite good. Native culture Greek already, which is fantastic. Uh, I think we build a shrine to Hera straight away. And we will move right away. I think we leave the Prodromoi behind. 30% is not great. Oh, 
Unrest, culture penalty, and distance to capital. Squalor. There's a little bit of squalor here. Interesting. It's only a large town with 1,600 people. So, yeah, Antiochus has a new trait. So let's get back to Sardis for retraining. Um, wonder... Nikea. Yeah, Nikea's still happy. Put you in there. That's 45. It'll go to 55. How about if I remove the Prodromoi from here? No. But what about, say, the Greek archers? 67 is plenty enough. Yeah, 60 plus the 10% from the Shrine to Hero is fine. Alright, let's get back to Sardis. Nice to build a watchtower here, but we can't ex can't afford it right now. Right, guys. Uh, what we're going to do... We are going to do a bit of general stacking, so I apologize for that in advance. Uh, but it's going to have to be done to kill this army. These places might rebel for a turn or two. But it's, uh, it's, it's fine. It'll only be a turn. It'll just cost us a little bit of money as they destroy some of our uh, destroy some of our buildings. Okay, you can't reach anyway. You can. Um, I think we just go for the battle, don't we? I think we go for the battle. I don't think we can afford to wait. I don't want to lose. This settlement or the Thracians. Ah, we can't even attack. We can attack this side, though. I mean, two of their three of their units are like Peltas. The only thing that's going to be a problem is the Hoplites. Got Hermias as well, and we've got a Chaos with all these generals. Uh, whatever you need to do to defend your lands, eh, guys? Whatever you need to do. Ah, it brings me back to the old Parthian days when uh, literally all we had was cavalry. I love a cavalry battle. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the battle map. Here we are, guys. Uh, it's a bit forested for a cavalry battle. So I attacked them straight. So my secondary army should be coming in from the back, I believe. How many generals are going to die in this battle, guys? That's what I want to know. Yeah, they're coming in from the side. I don't really need the Thracians. Let's all get over here if we can. Uh, that's not the place I told you to go, boys. They're all going to be a bit tired. We will bring the Thracians up, but... It's a bit, it's a bit obscene general stacking this amount of generals, but... you got to do what you got to do against the Ptolemies. Firstly, we want to take out their general and their uh, cavalry, if we can. If he's gonna, if he's gonna get that guy away, we might do get those two into that straight away, and then we'll bring you guys forward. Let's go. Uh, hmm, hmm. It's the Prodromoi, so they're just going to run away, which is annoying, but there's not much we can do. Right, let's wait down here for a little bit. I hate them. I hate them. Miss Alcav is just so annoying. And we're going to be dealing with a lot of it. Can we catch them? I think we can. Oh, come on. Catch A. No, 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 no. So close. So close. So close. Uh, who are you? Hopetes. I mean, it's time to kill their general, right? Uh, I think we just go straight through for the... Uh... They've got two generals, haven't they? I forgot about that. That is just... That's just silly. He's got to die, hasn't he? And then once he's died, we're straight out. I think... He's not quite dead. Well, what we should do is probably come here and get straight into the back of that Prodromoi. Go, go, go. 
Go, boys, go. Just get away from the Greek Hoplites. We leave them till the end. They're the ones who will do the damage to us. You get them quick. Oh, you've missed him! You missed him! It's a bit of a spam, spamming mission right now. Spam! Come on, the spam! General spam! General spam. That sounds like a, uh, an off-brand, an off-brand advertisement for spam. General spam. Uh, I don't want that prodromoy. Uh, go, go through those guys. We might as well. Ah, oh, hello. You can uh, get one of the Greek hoplites. Speed this up. They're broken already. I want to make sure we kill their whole army, so... Didn't need all of you guys to chase them down, though, did we? But, oh well. Wait, the Thracians? Wait, how have you broken, bro? What? Yeah, we've not lost the, his general. So I don't know why he's broken. All of you get there. We're going to split now. That's how we do things. Make sure we split nice and easy. Get back. Quick, quick, quick. Otherwise, those hoplites will break us. Right, now it's time to go. They've lost their generals, so they shouldn't be too bad. Time to go. We have to run through our own men, but it doesn't matter. The crush should be enough. Yeah. Now we're out. Now we're out. Go, go, go. Quick, quick, quick. You boys here. Come on. How did those Thracians break, bro? I guess they were just overwhelmed by the numbers. Now we need to hit them from the other side. No, I don't think we'll lose any... I mean, <laughs> we might lose some generals here. They're eager at the minute, but this should really destroy their morale. Yeah. Now straight into the Peltasts. This is... there. Yeah, this is a bit obscene. But... Oh, well, we needed to defend our lands, and they were the, the troops we had at our disposal. God, we, our general is... Like, he's amazing, but he's so slow. <laughs> we still need to kill some... Look how slow they are compared to the infantry. Right. Uh, you there. You there. I think that's everyone we want to kill. I would need to kill up to less than 15% to fully destroy their army, but we'll just fully make sure. We'll just fully make sure. There we are. Just that last guy. Last guy. Come on. Come on. Kill him. There we are. Okay. I mean, <laughs> obscene, but what can you do? What can you do when the Ptolemies attack you out of nowhere? Anyway, guys, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. It's a little bit obscene, wasn't it? But... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, well, we defended our homeland. And I think for now, guys... I mean, I'd, I'd hate to see us lose some of these settlements to them coming in and taking it. Cappadocia definitely is the, the, the first target. Just because... Although we have to go a long way... Just because... It's smaller, so we're a bit stuck right now in between a rock and a hard place. I mean, the Ptolemies just own this little section. Cappadocia can come down and take these places any moment. And I really don't want that to happen. These are some of our great... Uh, this is a great region for us. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a tough... It's a tough point. Let's, uh, let's find where our spy is. I need to find you, Philip. You're at Pontus, aren't you? Let's come back down to Cappadocia. See what's going on. See, the thing is, there's a bit of a buffer with these rebel settlements between us and Pontus. So if we take Cappadocia, I'm, I don't think Pontus would declare war straight away. So we'd be okay. But Anna, here is fine. It's just... There is also this kind of natural blocker. If we look here, for example... If I want to get to this settlement, we've got to go all the way around that way. But this one is very close. 
But that's what we're going for first. That'll kind of block off that route of attack. And if we can just defend that, we should be good. These ones up here, for example, around that way. Our Cappadocia, let's have a look at our diplomacy. Um, uh, sorry, wrong thing. No, it's here, isn't it? Come on. No, it's not. What? Am I being really dumb here? There we are. I, I, <laughs> I never really use this diplomacy scene. We've got a lot of uh, uh, a lot of um, trade partners, which is great. Um, but let's find Cappadocia or Atropatine or Arme Armenia. Ah. Uh, Armenia, please. Yeah. Armenia's allied with Cappadocia. I think we need to talk to Pontus and then Armenia straight away. Try and re-up that alliance with Armenia because otherwise they might attack us. At the minute, we're stuck kind of between building an army and building up our economy. And at the minute, I think we can't afford to really build too much more of an army. How many settlements do they have down here? I mean, we can see this one. If we zoom... If I uh, go to this, can we see the regions? So if it loads, just take a second. So I can only see one. I mean two. Three, of course. Oh, I think we're going to have to go for the Ptolemies here. I mean, but again, we could just general stack every time they attack and try and defend. I mean, that's probably honestly the best option. But yeah, that's probably the best option that we have available to us. Uh, also in Antioch, I'm going to be building this next turn. So that we can uh, we can start recruiting better cavalry. Slash, I think that'll allow us to recruit elephants, but I'm not 100% sure. I hope it does. That would be fantastic. And then if we really need to on that front, we can get some elephants in the action. And they'll kind of save our armies. Anyway, let's... Uh, End the turn. So that diplomat was going that way. I forgot to move him. Uh, that's a bit annoying. Um, we could, we should probably try and sell map information to every single little Greek nation, uh, just to, just to get some cash, just to get some cash. And they should be willing to give us cash, seen as we've not revealed map information to them before. And there's a lot of little nations in Greece, so there's plenty of opportunity to get some cashola. Free peoples. The free peoples. Please don't be angry with me, free peoples. Where are you moving? Right in the middle here. Uh, I don't know. Were you not moving to Ekbatana? Let's have a look. Oh no, you're moving up north because... Why? Because of Parthia declaring war on us. I don't know why. We're kind of uh, <laughs> at war in every single location here right now. Oh, where are you? Can we go to you, please? I wish I could just go to them. Uh, where is... Where are you? Yeah, likely down here, I thought so. You've made them all unhappy. Oh, no, they're really unhappy anyway. I'm building the sewers. That's another 10%. I'm building the sewers there. We've got a new sun. Oh, so much unrest. <laughs> Harmosia, you can go low now. You're on normal. You're now low. Iconian, yeah, you're going to get that, which is an extra five. Going to have to recruit. Really don't want to recruit you. You're expensive, but okay. Uh, Sagalossos, yeah, you'll be fine. Uh, Sardis, of course, was unhappy. You train those. Then Ephesus, yeah, was very unhappy. But we will, uh, we will have our generals back in places for now. So you get to Ephesus. That's made them happy. You get to there. Yep. You guys are back being happy. Good. Uh, yeah, someone needs to be in Sardis. Get in Sardis. Uh, we'll have the big army in Sardis soon. So. 
Uh, I should probably leave you outside the city so we get the extra movement points. And we need to retrain this army. It's going to cost us pretty much all our art, all our money. Uh, but I think it's quite important. Is there anyone we can merge to start trying to save time? Yeah, we can. Merge you two. Merge you as well. And... Merge you. Oh, it's everyone's retraining anyway for the extra weapon upgrade. So we don't need you retraining, do we? Uh, so Ephesus is back to being happy. Sardis is happy now. Sagalos. Uh, you can go to Sagalos. Sagalossos. Sagalossos. And in fact, don't retrain those boys. Save a little bit of money. So who's not got a uh, general then? In Okay, one over there. You can go into that one. And where were you going? You go into there. And then this one needs one. We did want someone as a general. Akilos, being in wars. Do you know what? Akilos is great. Being in wars, extra hit points. So we'll take Akilos with us. You can go in there. And Akilos, you stand out of the city. And we can retrain everyone as possible. I think the first thing we go for Samos, which... Can you get to Samos? No, it looks like you have to go across on a ship. Okay, sec we'll go for my Lysa, my Lysa then. Then we'll move along. And where's the secondary settlement down here? I don't know. That's the problem. I don't really know. Is there another settlement there? I I'm not sure. Okay, Pergamon and the Ptolemies are at war. That's excellent for us. Pergamon and Galatians. Have de Where were you at war to start with? Oh, they've gone for that one. Go on, Pergamon. <laughs> yes, the boys. Fantastic. Antioch, we got the Hoplites. Um, I think we go again. Get more. Chalka Speeders over there. Let's go for a construction. And then, yeah, we were going to build that at Antioch, but we can't. Now, one of the settlements over here, Berthina, or Bella, no, Berth, Bertha, Big Bertha is ready to upgrade, so we'll build that. Then let's have a look at our angry places. Oh my god, look how happy our people are. Deliche, 65%, but we don't have the money to make it better. Uh, and as a boss is 65 as well. Again, we don't have the money to make it better. Uh, 57 is building. Uh, and ours boss, though, we might as well build that. So build that for now. Right. Big armies moved. These boyos. Yeah, let's get to Tyana. Get rid of Tyana. Destroy them. I think Iconian is going to be okay. Um, uh, right, you guys keep moving around to Byblos. And once you're all ready, we will set out on a journey, boys. We will come down and try and take Sidon back off the Ptolemies. They haven't attacked in the north, which is kind of telling me that they don't really have a huge amount of troops. Touch wood. <laughs> Touch wood. I do not know. Whether they do have a huge amount of troops or not. Harmosia is okay now. These places in the east are just so far from anything that it's... It's impossible kind of keep trying to keep them in check. And uh, yeah, they're, they're fully... They're very Iranian. They're not Greek just yet. But eventually we will culture convert these places. For now, it's it's pretty hard to... We also had a troop moving. Yeah, you've moved. Right then, let's end the turn, guys. Before I uh, go on for too long. Oh, the diplomat. That was what I was moving. God damn it, bro. <laughs> God damn it. I thought you were going... Were well, you not going to Pontus, diplomat? You're going a little bit slow. If you are going to Pontus. Oh, well. Oh, there's the big Cappadocian army. 
All right, so far, they moved up to the northeast rather than the, uh, to the uh, west, <laughs> which is great for us. That should give us time to take the settlement. How many people are in there? Four. Ooh. Oh, God, it's going to be tight. I mean, the Asian light spearmen are not great, though. That's the one good thing. Can I X you, please? What? Um... What's happened here? I can't get rid of this. What? What the? Uh, hello? I can't even press escape. What? What if I press that? What is going on, bro? I can't even press escape. Bertha, we've already done that. What if I press Control S? Save has succeeded. Well, guys, just give me one sec. I'm going to try and load out of the game and load back in. I don't know why this has happened will not allow me to close, as you can see. I can press a lot of other things. But just not... The Asian light spearmen apparently do not want to leave the screen. Can't press on those. What about... Yeah, I can't press on anything. So I'm going to try and load out. I quick saved, so that should kind of help. Anyway, guys, I'll, I'll see you in a second. We're back, guys. <laughs> Just a little glitch in the matrix, I think. If I press these guys, yeah, I can close them. Note to self, <laughs> don't <laughs> don't have a look at the Asian Light Spearmen. We do have some Mercenary Galatian Warband available down here, which I think I'm going to get hold of next turn. We won't get them right now. Uh, Perseus, yeah, we'll accept you. And you're down here. Yeah, on you. Ah, every time you load it in, you have to change this back to non, guys. So I'll just do that. But yeah, where have you gone? Okay, you're there. That's actually great. Could do with a uh, guy up here in the north, really. I think probably Alexandria Susia would be the best place. Because you can kind of react quite well to whatever's happening. You can either go east or west. So I think we'll go take you to uh, Alexandria Susia, my boy. Get up there. Awesome. Cool. So, yeah. You guys can move onwards and upwards to Zatricata. Um, and we've got some building to do, haven't we? So, there we are. Sardis, how is the retraining going? I yeah, I'm not bothered about retraining any of the rest of these boys. Unfortunately, the Thracians can't be retrained, so we might as well merge them up. Have a slightly better army now with more Chalka Speeders. So we'll organize the army properly. And then the then yeah we can just uh, do this. Now how upset is Sardis? I mean a little bit upset, but we'll uh, we'll give it something to make it happy. And I think we'll go with Hephaestus. Yeah, I think we'll go with Hephaestus. And then us guys, we can we get there? No, that's across the ships. So we will come down. We will fight the Ptolemies down here. It's definitely the best option, I think. And then here, let's see what sort of army we've got. Um, I mean, it's not amazing, but it, it's something. It's a, it's an army, isn't it? It is an army. That is uh, the truth of it. It's an army, and armies can do fighting. <laughs> Words, guys. Not much cavalry in this army. It's predominantly prodromoy. I'd take the Greek Slingers over the Akontistai any day, really. Uh, get the 
Prodromo in there, then how upset is Biblos going to be if we take all of the Akantistai apart from one? A little bit. They'll be fine. If we could build a watchtower here as well, that'd be great. Say, there. You can see a little bit more now, can't we? Okay, they've got an army. We can probably, honestly, do a draw-out battle next time if they come and stand next to that settlement. Let's get a shrine for Hera going over here. And then while we're here, let's get that Hippodrome. And then over here, we kind of want to... Let's make sure we can get get all the uh, the rioting places. So Anazabos is going to be fine now. It's on 70%. Persinius looks like, yeah, so it looks like just one, actually. Wow, that's a good turn. Oh, no, Deliche as well. They've destroyed one of the things that would have helped them. Ah, we can just put it down to low. Yeah, that's fine. And then, so somewhere else where we can build Persinius, we can build this. Yeah, let's do it. Let us do it. Fantastic. And, yeah, I think... You know, I'm feeling okay, guys. I'm not feeling horrendous currently where where we are. I don't like that guy. Come and have a look. I mean, they're not defending M Mazaka very well. Is it Mazaka? Yeah, they're not defending Mazaka too well. I believe they've only got four cities. So... Now, you, Diplomat. Let's go talk to the Pontix. Then we have another Diplomat somewhere else, don't we? Where are you, my other Diplomat? Because I keep forgetting about you. Ah, you're uh, over here. Antigonids? Yes. I'll give you my map information. But I want, like, 2,000. Leave us be. What? Previous muddled proposals. Won't be entertaining any more offers from you for a while. You're my... You're... I'm your only ally, fool. <laughs> you called my proposals muddled. Who are you? Are you Antigonids as well? Yeah. Yes, my uh, who are you? Uh, Boyushin League. Kind of want to talk to you. God damn it. Uh, muddled proposals. What sort of foolishness is this? Calling me muddled. That's a bit of a slight... I don't like, I don't like your uh, cheekiness, my friend. Ish, friend-ish. <laughs> got a little bit of an army there, don't they? They've got the big armies up here, so should be fine. Now, kind of thinking, Atropatine are our current allies. Kind of thinking going and trying to get peace with Parthia because they pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie. If they decide to leave their home. And become a horde. Now that is a scary, scary proposition, guys. I can tell you uh, because I was playing Parthia just for a bit of fun uh, the other night. And decided to become a horde. And you get pretty much four full stacks of elite horse archers. So <laughs> I hope they get another settlement soon so that they can't become a horde anytime soon. Because that would just be horrendous. Okay, Greek cities are going to cancel being a pr protector, aren't they? Ways. Yes. Okay. Oh, but thanks. can I uh, get an alliance with you? Give you map information. We see no benefit okay. to us. Okay. Well, uh, will you take some map information? Regretfully, no. We must decline. <sighs> Everyone is turning on us. <laughs> Go and take those rebel settlements, bro. Don't attack me. <laughs> I mean, you're pretty weak, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue trying to destroy you. Uh, but I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to. I want you to live a happy life for now. Uh, cakes. Cakes. He likes cakes. Yes. Uh, marriage celebrations. Okay, you're over in Seleucia. Interesting. Babylon, uh, Nippur. Babylon is only a large town. I know there's a settlement like out here somewhere, but I can't remember where it is. 
I think it's quite well defended, though. Yeah, goddamn. Apamea Zugma. You're going to have to upgrade. You've suddenly gone down in money quite significantly, and I don't know whether that is something to do with... Hmm, Army upkeep, likely. 61,000 on army upkeep. Th wait, we're losing 31,000 to corruption, guys. This is why we need to eliminate the corruption in our lands. Um, this is also kind of why... Attacking... Uh, we'll take Militos. Mylesia. Well, we have already have Temple of Artemis. Reduces re cost of religious buildings. But if we take Halicarnassus, it's a reduction. It's Colossus of Rhodes, really, that's the, that's the one that brings in a lot of cash. Right. Yep. Let's siege down Militos. Fantastic. Hmm. Right, and I think... I think we do this battle before they uh, come and attack. I want to see where that big army's gone. Let's, can we see it up here? I don't know where they're going. They're not hugely defended, a lot of these settlements, are they? How can we not see that yet? I mean, if they're not going to defend these settlements... Okay, we've got lots of options here now. Galatian Thorakitai, very good unit. Carrying heavy infantry. Ooh. Oh, 5,000, bro! I mean... Got to take it, though, because otherwise I think we lose this battle. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take that. Uh, unless I could... Rec I mean, I've bought them now, so I can't really do anything about it. Okay, we got... If you get pushed back to the city... Yes, you do! Oh, yes! Sorry. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah. Sorry. I'm just getting into it. <laughs> just getting into it. So we've got two battles to do. I think we'll do one for the end of this episode. Um, and I'll leave the siege battle for next episode because we've done a lot of sieges so far. So let's do a field battle. We've not done a single field battle yet apart from the General Stack field battle. The infamous General Stack battle. Um, and of course, we need to let these guys... Okay, they got Matroi Foroi. They're pretty good. They're a beautiful unit. We've not seen... I didn't really show you any of these units um, in the last battle. So we'll have a look at some of them now. They're not all of their units, but there are some that we can show you. Like the Matroi Foroi are great. Very stunning unit. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the battlefield. Here we are, guys. There is something appealing, something appalling, something for everyone in what I must now say. We will win! Yes. Many of us may die, but all of us will be brave! Yes. So their secondary army should be coming directly from behind them. Why did Chalka speed us so far away? Uh, set you up properly. We're going to stand back for a little bit, guys, before we go forward to engage. You guys on this flank. Oh, yes, we've got a lot of jabbies. They should do a decent job. Um, and we've got the Prodromoi boys. They should be good at, at chasing down the enemy. And, of course, Antiochus. Is that a fa He's not a factionaire, is he? Well, I assume not with only 19 bodyguards. So we're going to let that secondary army come in. And while we do, guys, let's have a look at some of these Ptolemaic new units. So we've got the Matroi Foroi. So the Matramoi are the native Egyptians, as you can see by looking at the different ethnicities. Um, they're the native uh, Egyptian troops recruited by the Ptolemies. Um, the Matramoi. We've got the Greek Slingers, which, of course, we have as well. The Akontistai, but the... Uh, Egyptian version. Then over here, you can see the Theroperoi. So the Theroperoi, again, looking very, like, just stunning, really. These units, guys, are just obscenely detailed, obscenely good. The Greek Peltas, I love the different shields. And let me show you one of these little details. See the texture on the shields there? Like, the leather texture 
Like, this is just crazy. The tiny little details that have gone into this. And there's a the Ptolemaic Cavalry of the Court. So, firstly, we need to wait for them to come in because I want to be able to pursue them and kill them all so we can take the city. Um, so we'll wait for now until they join together. Then we'll march forward. So, speed it up. Yeah, get in. I'll show you the Machi Machimoy again. They just look great, don't they? And the details of the textures, even the textures on there, they better not withdraw. Okay, yeah, don't withdraw. Right, guys. Uh, you guys off that. We will run forward just because we can. <laughs> We'll get the Prodromoy into the action now. I'll speed it up. Prodromoy are very fast. They're great for pursuing enemies. But terrible at everything else, really. <laughs> Melee, terrible. They do have a little bit of Javi strength, but that's it. So everyone apart from the Greek Slingers. Let's get you guys forward. Then you guys, let's get you forward as well. See, they're getting shot down themselves, the Prodromoi. Firing at the Akontistai. Okay, that's maybe not where we wanted to go so far up. Let's get there. Speed it up. Now they should be able to fire at some proper troops. Get back. Yeah, throw your Javis, boys. It doesn't really matter that we're just throwing them into the Akontista. We've got such an overwhelming amount of numbers that you fire there. You fire there as well, ideally. Yeah, just keep firing, boys. And I think it's probably time to get at least you two back. And we'll stick you in phalanx mode. Okay, they're charging. Not ideal for us. But they might charge into the phalanx, which would be great. If they follow us through, they're going to charge into the phalanx. Go on, then. Yes, thank you. And they're getting thrown. Like, jabbies are getting thrown at them. And they're throwing jabbies into the back of these boys. Fantastic. Right, then. You three. Oh, they're already broken. Oh, we need to kill that general. Oh, I can't believe he's run already. Boys. How? can't remember which side was he, though. Was he uh, in the city or not? can't remember. Are they broken? Yeah. Go kill them. You kill them as well. Prodromoy. If you can catch them, that would be ideal. I know the Prodromoy are trash compared to uh, their, their general's bodyguard unit, but... The overwhelming numbers might just catch them at unawares. I'll get the Greek Slingers, actually. Okay, where's my general? He's going to have to uh, fight that because the Akantistai will die. <laughs> okay, it looks like uh, the Akantistai have done a good job of just holding them for a second there. And he's dead. Okay, that's good. That means we just need to pursue everyone else. Uh, actually, you guys go there, because they're ahead. Then who are you? The Theroparoi. Ah, oh, we should should break them. Now, we'll uh, charge them in the back as well. Right, now you guys get them. Oh, we've got to kill. We've got to have less than 15% left, guys, in order for both of those armies to die. That's their other general gone. So that might be the Theroparoi decided. The Theroparoi, uh... No further information at the minute. A concerned over exposed flanks. I would I would hope so. Oh, they're instantly broken on that charge. I'm fine with them fighting to the death, honestly, right now. Because we need to kill them all. Now they're routing fully. Yeah, you're killing those. You're killing those. You kill this guy. I don't think they'll survive. I think that all the armies will die. I mean, I'm hoping so. This yep. is a fit for the gods, yes, fantastic. 
Fantastic. Did a lot of damage there. 130 for that Prodromoy. Well done. That's mainly charging the enemy down, though. Everyone doing well. Well done, guys. Well done. I'm, I'm happy for you. And I'm happy for us. We've taken our first Ptolemaic city down in the south. Taking back our lands. Anyway, guys, I will see you back on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. And fantastic. Sidon is ours. Boom. So we're going to be enslaving a lot of places. The good things with um, with using this option, I was going to say the good things with <laughs> that then, but no, the good things with using this option uh, is the fact that if you exterminate, I've generally found this. So someone who has slightly better, so it's just Osiris over here, is it? Um, someone who has slightly better understanding of the occupying mechanics can let me know whether this is true, but I believe extermination... Uh, impacts your diplomatic um, interactions with people. People don't like you exterminating settlements for some reason. <laughs> Obviously. Um, so, yeah, I believe it kind of impacts your diplomatic weight. So let's keep on going with the Hoplites over here. Uh, we can retrain these boys. Oh, good. It has a blacksmith here. Let's build the sewers. How much does it cost to retrain? Not a huge amount, actually. I think General would be the next best option there, rather than the missile troops. Um, how much speed do we have? Oh, uh, we can just carry on. Uh, let's not retrain these boys, then. Uh, how unhappy are you? Oh! oh. <sighs> Very unhappy. <sighs> I can spare the Ancontisti, though. They're not, they're not hugely useful. And I think Shrine to Hero, that's 10% that will make them happy. And we'll go straight for Tyra. Tyre? Michelin. Go straight for Michelin. Oh, we've had a lot of towns expand. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm not going to be able to upgrade you this turn. We will upgrade the next turn, though. But yes. So we've done that battle. We also have... This one to do, which we'll do at the start of next turn. It's actually going to be a relatively tough battle. Oh, nope. Don't do that. How many... Oh, wait. I didn't I didn't build anything. What? Oh, because we pressed on the thing, and then when I loaded back in, I forgot to build. So we need a ram. <laughs> but luckily, that big army is not around anywhere. Now, let's go speak to Pontus. Alliance and trade rights, my friend. We see no what about just us. just trade rights? A most generous proposal. Now an alliance. We see no benefit. To an us. alliance and a map information. A most generous. Okay, there we are. Sorted. So we got an alliance, and now we can see they've got three cities. I, if I was you, I'd go north, Pontus, because that's away from me. <laughs> if you declare war on the Galatians as well, that would be fantastic. But uh, we can hope. We can hope, can't we? I mean, we're kind of blocking off this edge of Anatolia, which is great right now. That's when we've taken this bit off the Anatolians. Uh, sorry, the Ptolemies. We should be in a pretty decent position to go take the fight to them down in the south and also take the fight to Cappadocia. But anyway, guys, I think we've done a... It's been a pretty good episode. I think we've uh, achieved quite a bit. We beat back the Ptolemies here. Came down here to take that. We're marching on Cappadocia. Uh, we also took uh, Chios. And we've taken uh, Sidon as well. So we're coming down south to fight. Let's have a look. To fight the Ptolemies. Um, and I believe they'll just have cities along these edges here, as you can see. We'll try and take them. That's a decent, decent chunk of city and rich cities as well with their... Their trading networks. I mean, 1,000 from a city you've just conquered is, is nothing to sniff at. It's more than some of these guys down here already. Uh, but yeah, 1,400 for Antioch. I kind of want to build uh, the, uh, the trade caravan. Oh, have I built the trade caravan? Yeah. Trade is making a lot of Antioch, which is great. But these places aren't so far away in terms of distance from uh, from Seleucia, our capital. 
that it's too much of a worry. How much corruption are we having? Yeah, it's about a third, but it will come down with the Shrine to Hera. We can also get the Execution Square, which is 10% law, which is great. And we can go down that path. So if we look at that path, um, is it there? Yeah, we can go down that path. That gives 15 and that gives 20. So that's a pretty strong amount of lore there we can get. And with the Shrine to Hero as well, we can get even more lore. So that's fantastic. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. So thank you very much for watching. It has been a pleasure, as always. Please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. really does. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. And I'll see you again on the next video.